Shamu Creek. So I'm be putting a grounding rod in uh, over here by the side of the cargo container where the Starlink dish pole is actually going to go. We'll dig a hole, put the pole in, drop some concrete in, uh, and then I'll ground that pole in the dish to this grounding rod. Uh, grounding rods are on every electrical system. You have one at your house, you just probably don't see it. Uh, if you're over by where your electrical panel is, you might see a little tiny copper nub sticking out with some wire. Or you just see green wire disappearing into the dirt. Um, that is a grounding rod like this one. It's a copper rod, three plus feet long driven into the ground, which just provides a solid earth ground to anything that needs grounding, Pre uh, help prevent lightning strikes uh, and ground all of the electrical everywhere. So I'm gonna drive this one in here. I'm actually gonna ground the container uh, from it. And then I'm going to, once the dish is in, we'll ground the dish and then the solar panels and the wind turbine and everything that's gonna mount to the container itself. Uh, that way I can just ground those straight to the container uh, and I won't have to run wire down to this grounding rod. Another reason to ground the container, uh, although it could be argued and it's a very small chance of happening, is to help prevent lightning strikes. Containers are uh, highly recommended that you don't store them flat on the ground, straight on the ground. Uh, they do need air circulating under them so they don't rot and rust out. So ours is sitting up on, we had it up on some blocks, which uh, last weekend Michelle and I were able to take my three-ton floor jack, lift the back end up off the ground, put some different lower blocks in, repeat that on the front uh, and we actually got it completely leveled in every direction it was a little off uh, and we were able to put it on some stones lower to the ground and get rid of the wood block wood blocks fine it just eventually rots so why not deal with it now but since the container is off the ground uh, it is prone to lightning strikes so we are going to ground it directly um, that's not the you know I didn't buy it just for that but that's just kind of a good side effect of it removed all this plastic when I was at home. Instead I'm standing in the rain doing it like a dummy. Time for a box knife. You stay here and watch this. I'll be right back. There we go, grounding rod. This one's three footer, it's about, that's the minimum you should go. Drive it in up to about here. Uh, this is the copper clamp that comes with it. Uh, I did buy a better one. The re reviews online said this is a great rod except this thing kind of sucked. Uh, and they sell much better ones for pretty cheap. So I have one of those in there. We'll clamp that on the top. Uh, but you don't need it sticking out too far. You don't want people to trip over it and fall on it and skewer themselves. So. These can go literally anywhere as long as they're driven into the earth. I'm going to put wine up by the corner because then I'll run a wire over to ground the container from there. Hammer time! So a little bit of nub sticking out. I'll put the clamp on that. And then uh, if there is anything that looks like it could be something to stab you when you step on it, uh, we'll just put a little cap over it or a rubber ball or something. So should be fine. Probably once I get the clamp on and the wire in, I can drive it into the ground a little further and bury it. So always be able to find it because you just follow the wire backwards. This is the wire. Uh, it's just a heavy duty solid core grounding wire. This wire actually came with this rod, so it's kind of nice that it's a complete kit. We'll run this over from the rod over to the container, screw it right into the corner. Just use a machine screw right into there uh, and it'll be perfect. That's the extra clamp I bought instead of using the one that comes with it. You can see why nobody likes the one that comes with it. It's kind of like a just a, it's all copper, but it's just kind of cheap. And like, there's no real good way to connect the wire like on this newer one. So uh, I will link where I got this rod and the clamp I used in case you want to do something like this. Uh, Cause it was all pretty inexpensive and you definitely want to upgrade the 
kind of crappy little thing that comes on it. Klein tool, linesman. This is the best thing ever invented and Klein makes the best one, so you should get one of these. I'm gonna save the remainder of this that came with it so I can run from the rod over to where the Starlink pole will go for Dishy. We can ground that as well. Well, hopefully that should work good. Uh, I'm gonna go get a uh, ohmmeter or voltmeter and see if we can check the resistance between that the container and the rod. Make sure we don't have any high resistance there, but it should work good. So what I'll expect to see is pretty much zero. It might be like 0.01 or two, 0 0.001 or two, but uh, we should see pretty much zero resistance um, between the some spot on the container and the wire attached to that bolt. That'll tell us if that bolt's not connected you know solidly to the container um, or if the wire is not connecting with it directly so uh, we'll double check that if those look good then I think we're set